action-packed this movie from from the the driving and the the fast cars but but also the soundtrack to it is what kind of really grabs you with this yes so the whole movie uh, my character baby has tinnitus and he has to listen to music all the time to drown that out and the music he listens to is the soundtrack of the movie and the whole movie cuts and moves to that soundtrack so the trailer looks super action-packed and it looks like it's moving really quickly you hadn't really seen anything like that. you haven't ever seen and, and Edgar Wright who's from the UK who's an incredible director who reminds you of a bit of Quentin Tarantino they're actually great friends yeah. so this is an original movie you know a a lot of movies are sequels or prequels or, or remakes, which is there's nothing uh, wrong with that. But this is a this is a, a, an original film, and this young man right here. When you watch this film, I mean, of course, you don't try to buy into too much of the critics, but it is 100 percent on Rotten Tomatoes. But you watch this young. I just want to let you know. That. <laughs> but you just, you watch this man. You watch this young man emerge as an as an incredible Hollywood. Uh, uh, Actor, it was, it was great I mean, to be on set with him. And, well, we should you know. we should explain a little bit about the story yeah. and who you are and who you play because you play Baby and he's a young getaway driver and he's sort of reluctantly coerced into this life of crime, really. And while Baby loves driving, while he's an amazing driver, he he's not a bad guy and he doesn't really want to be a criminal. Um, and he's trying to get out of doing it, but of course, it's not so easy to get out of yeah. a life of crime, especially when you're the best in the business and mm -hmm. everyone's relying on you. And it looks like, and there's one point, where I think we'll probably stop with our analysis because we don't go too far and spoil too much. But he nearly, I mean, he's getting there, you know, he, he finds a girl in the diner. Um, that's Lily James from Downton. Mm -hmm. uh, lovely love. Lily. Yes. And, uh, and, so, uh, and so it looks like things are beginning to look like he might be able to get out of this world. Yeah. And that, that, that Lily James romance is, is, it's beautiful, it's timeless. They, they wear black and white. A lot of the other characters wear colors. Mm -hmm. You almost feel like it's a timeless romance. They don't use their phones when he calls the diner. He calls, uh, you know, the diner phone when he tries mm -hmm. to get in touch with her. It's a timeless romance, and it's the heart and soul of a movie that has so much action. And it, it's the, juxtaposition, the juxtaposition between the romance and the action and the music, it makes it such a unique film that... Uh, you never, the pacing's perfect, you never get tired of what you're watching. It, and, uh, and you are a... <laughs> I'm a black man. Sociopath. <laughs> you are, I play the black man in the... In the you no. are a... De in the movie, you are a... <laughs> I play the African-American man who's threatening... No, I'm just kidding. I, I, play, I play bats. And, and, yeah, and he's what's, a sociopath. What's, he's what's, a scary guy. What's yes. What's great about this guy is, <laughs> is that I know guys like this. And they don't they don't respect consequences. Mm. If it's if it's something that's dangerous, they don't they don't care about it. And, and he's very important because his character, if you notice in the beginning of the movie, he's actually the passenger. You know, until Bats compromises him, compromises him as a man, and then compromises him in front of his girl, who you know he's he's in love with. And I think Bats is a is a necessary evil uh, in in this movie to to make. The, the story evolve mm. so that he comes out, you know, um, even more heroic. So mm. it, was, it was great playing uh, good old bats. Good old bats, bad old bats. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and you driving—I mean, driving skills you've had in, in previous movies anyway. But this one was a bit different for you because you had to drive what we call a manual. But you yes, call it stick, stick shift, stick shift. And so, how did, how did you get on with that? Well. Beyond having to drive stick shift, I also had to learn how to do all the drifting, um, all the e-brake turns. What is drifting? So drifting is, is uh, there's a lot of different ways to do it, but the way that we mostly did it was with a rear wheel lockup where you pull the emergency brake and your rear wheels lock up and then you can slide the car around. Goes around the car like, like, a, like, like, around the car. like a donut type mm -hmm. thing. I did a lot of uh, training sessions with the stunt team, we have an yeah. incredible stunt team, and uh, I did all the stunts in the movie. You loved that. <laughs> no, that was you, your favorite bit. No, every... you did not. I didn't do all the stunts. <laughs> but I, I would have liked to have. Almost every day when I showed up, I said, oh, well, what stunts am I going to do today? And they were like, uh, we have a stunt team who's going to do the stunts today. But you actually drove them mad because you were going in there saying, right, OK, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Every day. And then when they finally said, right, OK, tomorrow you've got the stunt, you'd go away and study it so they went in you nailed it when you went in. I did. I did the stunts I did. I did well. But I'm, I'm really into it. And in fact, I, I have the Subaru now from the movie because I kept begging for it. And now I take it to parking lots and, and keep doing Do the tricks I you park it I like learned. that? I try to, yeah. <laughs> Give it a go. Because I love that, 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 was it your daughter who was massively unimpressed when you uh, dropped off at school in a nice car? Oh, yeah. I, my, my oldest daughter doesn't like the, the Hollywood... You know, I went to pick her up at high school and I had this Rolls Royce and she wouldn't get in the car, and then, and then the top goes out and said, look, baby, the top goes back, come on. 